So I get asked all the time, where's the Cadillac? When do we have another Cadillac video? I know, I, I haven't made a video on this in a long time. The reason being is because I've really just been driving it. So this car is at a point where pretty much everything works and all that's left is cosmetics. So I could paint it, I could do the interior XYZ thing. <clears throat> but recently the issue that we've been having is the last time I went to drive it, it cranked and cranked and cranked, it wouldn't start, and I had to start it on starting fluid, which is very unusual for this car. And then I noticed, once I started it up, that the fuel pump was leaking. Alright, I know it's dark, but here under the hood, luckily, the fuel pump is actually right at the top of the engine. So, that makes removing it really, really easy. Last time I ran it, I mean, gas was just pouring out all along the top diaphragm, and I was like, well... I guess it's time I and mean, it's been probably eight years since I bought it and I put a bunch of miles on it So the ethanol and the gas probably ate it um, another thing. I want to do is change out these um, Rubber hoses and put a different uh, Type fuel filter in it. This fuel filter actually works very well. I'm just scared. It's gonna leak one day So I'm gonna put a regular uh, metal type in there, but removing it's easy it's two hoses and then two bolts underneath and it comes out gas everywhere. You can kind of see along this edge it's still wet. Here she is. Pretty simple. So here we have the old pump. We have all the new pieces for the kit. I could have bought a new pump. They were like 200 something dollars. This was like 50 bucks. I figured I'll give this a go. It shouldn't be that difficult. There's actually a step by step in the, the manual that shows the exploded view. Um, and then also shows, I guess, step by step how to take it apart, put it back together. So.
So out of that kit, the only thing we didn't use were these two gaskets. I thought they were supposed to go on here, but they're not. And then this bushing, I'm not sure what that bushing was for. I didn't see any place for it. But we replaced the diaphragm, which is the most important part, the gasket, the spring, these two valves, this bushing, which believe it or not, looks kind of crappy. And then that, and this seal, and this seal, and the rod, all replaced. Back in business. Well, here she is out of the garage. I'm gonna drive around the block. Fired up much better than before with a working fuel pump. That's always a plus. Gonna kinda try to blow the cobwebs out of her. It hasn't been driven in a while. I try to drive them once a week. It ends up being probably every other week. It should be sooner than that, but it is what it is. Sorry guys, I'm not gonna clean my windshield for this. <laughs> All we're gonna do is just drive it around the block.